Hello there. It's Monday morning. Starting the day off with filling up the gas tank. That's where we're at this morning. How bad are yours? So since I've been uh, going to the gym with my brother and my dad at least twice a week, trying to be a little more conscious about what I'm eating, drinking, yada, yada, yada. Also trying to keep my protein up as I start to try to build muscle. And uh, Core Power's always been one of my favorite ones. Uh, not sponsored, gotta make sure I say that. Not sponsored, I wish, I wish, I wish. Uh, but no, Core Power, they used to have a honey one that was to die for. The honey one was amazing. And then they actually had a banana one too. I don't know if they still make them. I haven't seen them in forever. They may have discontinued them, but strawberry banana is amazing. Like, whew, picked these up at Costco last week. It's kind of like a morning breakfast slash snack or whatever. Yeah, freaking delicious. All right, we are done with work for the day. On to job number two, it's DoorDash day. So last week's vlog, uh, DoorDashing was a huge success. Uh, a lot of you guys were really interested in watching, uh, you know, what what DoorDashing looked like, what my day looks like when, you know, when I'm DoorDashing. Again, I do it like once or twice a week, um, depending on how the week's going, if I need extra cash, that sort of thing. You know, we, we just spent a lot of money with the concert and I got some other things coming up soon too. So we're doing another DoorDash day and Mondays and Wednesdays are those days to do it. So today's Monday, we're DoorDashing. I should have done this in the last video and I apologize, but I'm gonna do it right now in this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any, what, what questions do you have about DoorDashing? Uh, there's something that you'd like to know, like to, like to see. Um, I'm vlogging with my phone, so I can't really show you my screen, so to speak. Um, but I will try to sh maybe sh get some screenshots or maybe screen record. Um, obviously, I'd be careful information that's being presented on, on the on the, in the app and whatnot. But um, someone even made a comment about I should live stream while I do this, and I've already thought about that. I just I would it requires me to have a separate device to stream from. I can't stream from my phone because I'm using my phone for the app and my maps and everything else. So I'd have to have a separate phone or I'd have to use the backpack and I have to pay the $300 a month for the, the service. So if DoorDash was my main job, 100% would do it, 100%. I just can't justify doing it, you know, once, twice a week, you know, essentially four or five times a month um, for 300 bucks a month. It basically would kill <laughs> a lot of the DoorDash money that I made. So um, for now, you're gonna get a blog. All right, first pickup of the day. Chick-fil-A, seriously one of the most popular DoorDash ones. They've rearranged their entire store, drive through everything for, uh, for DoorDashing. Super popular. So I got this thermal bag here that I, I usually stick whatever bag item I have just to kind of keep it somewhat warm or cooled, you know, so it's not getting direct. Cup holder is always a tricky part. I only have one cup holder and it's not a very big one. Uh, so it's always one of those things where depending on how many drinks I have, I'll put one drink there. And if it's more than one drink, I use a cup holder, but then I have to kind of hold on to it. That's probably the worst part about DoorDashing is drinks. All right, first order done. And it was a good one. $13 for about six and a half miles, which two, $2 per mile. That's that's Tiffany's goal. That's what she always told me to, to shoot for, which doesn't always happen all the time. And that's why she passes on a lot of them. I don't, I, I take, especially if it's got the diamond, if it's a high pain order, which is higher than normal. Uh, or higher than the average, I usually take them. So, not bad. On to the next one. So I went ahead and took a screenshot so you can see what my screen looks like between orders. So basically what we're looking at here is, uh, my location is the blue dot, and then there's these hot spots or hot zones, which basically tell you where the majority of orders are at the moment. Um, I've heard mixed things about how important it is to be in that area or near that area, but what I can tell you from experience is the closer you are to that area, the more orders you're gonna get because other drivers, in theory, are also near that area. And so the people that are the closest to the actual location are the ones that typically get it. Now, obviously there's other priorities and there's other parts of the algorithm that are, are, been, are, are factoring in who to give it to, but at the end of the day, the closest person technically should be getting that to get, getting that order. So the closer you are to a hotspot, the more chances are you are to get a, to get an order. And then you can also slide from hotspot to hotspot to see uh, you know, where the next hotspot is, how big the hotspot is. The size from what I gather is just what other restaurants are ordering. So the bigger the hotspot, the more old restaurants are ordering. So again, bigger the hotspot, more more chances for you to get uh, to to get orders picked up. So we head to the hot zones. So my next order is a shop and go here at Safeway, and it's for a bottle of Tito's vodka. 
All right, so as I was picking that up, I just got dinged for another one, and it's just literally across the street for a pizza. And looking at the map, I'm dropping off the Tito's and then going two streets over to drop off the pizza. So that's how DoorDash's algorithm works out, where they're like, oh, hey, you're right here. Pick up this thing across the street. Oh, you're going down in that neighborhood? Sweet, drop off two things in that neighborhood. Tito's. So here's a first. I got, I got, I got an order. I'm on my way to pick it up. I get dinged for another one, and I'm looking at it, and it looks like it's like the way it looks is like it's in this on the same street or right next to each other. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, it says it's like no no additional time at all. I'm like, oh wow, okay. So I pick up the first one. I go pick up the second one and realize it's literally the same house. I just ordered two different orders from two different restaurants. So I picked up the first one, pick up the second one. I'm like, all right, I'm going to the same place. This is awesome. That, that's like the most ideal situation. But um, I just picked up Red Robin and he ordered, the, the person ordered the Brussels sprouts and oh my God, they smell so good. Like, oh, I freaking love like roasted Brussels sprouts. It's like one of my recent, like in the last like five years, like one of my new favorite things. I love, love roasted Brussels sprouts. I don't know why I should buy them more often. Throw them in the air fryer, they're so good. Oh. Kit, Kit knows what's up. Back at Safeway another shop and go and I'll put the screenshot here this is what it looks like when I'm shopping uh, it tells you the aisle that it's in, on and then you pick the item and then you scan the barcode so it makes sure you're getting exactly what the customer asked for if you can't find the item you just have to say the item's unavailable and smart savvy customers will uh, put substitutions in if they don't you have to give them a substitution like hey is, they don't have this one is this one okay uh, but like I said the savvy ones will put substitutions in there already for you so it's quick and easy Double pizza pickup order, $25, $26, yes please. So there's there's a, there's a little bit of a joy there when you are delivering someone's food. Now, 90, 95% of the time, it's no contact. Leave it at the door, right? Like just real simple, drop it at the door, take a picture, be on your way. Every once in a while you get that one, hand the order to the customer, right? Hand me the order is what the, you know, the app tells you, hand me the order. Um, and so like, big pizza order like i saw the receipts 117 dollars at papa john's and you know the guy the dad answers the door and i i you know here's your pizza and he's thank you very much and you just hear the little girl behind him pizza 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 dad the pizza's here like as, as, of course he knows i'm handing him the pizza but she's just like pizza pizza i'm just like yeah pizza pizza night you know it's like the best feeling i love it i love it Tiffany says the same thing uh, in regards to when she delivers like groceries to somebody and it's like, you know, an elderly person or a disabled person or when like she's shopping clearly for like kids, um, like medicine, right? Like someone's sick in the house and then you get like, you know, uh, children's Tylenol or children's Motrin or, you know, some something that you could tell is like kids medicine. Like she knows that she's doing a mom or a dad like a solid by getting the you know the medicine or doing the shopping for the kid uh so they don't have to you know there's been a couple times where she's delivered food and and you got you know somebody who a mom wearing like nurse scrubs holding two kids right sick kids crying kids and you're just like oh you just feel for the mom you feel for the mom right that she's telling me all these kind of stories that where she uh you know she's done that it's like you know again it's it's the rewarding part of the job aside from the money What's up, Bryce? What's up? What are we doing? Going to Walmart. For what? For some non-slip shoes. Non-slip shoes. Hmm. What do you need non-slip shoes for? Uh, for work. Tomorrow. Bryce got a job. What the? What? Yeah. He's uh. Well, we'll we'll let him fill you in later. But for now, I I, I got home from DoorDash and, and he's like, Dad, I'm going to Walmart. I get some shoes. I'm like, Oh, oh, okay. So, dropped my stuff and got back in the car with him. Yep, only ones. Fits me. Really? So, there's, okay, well, so there's these. Right. Is this one of these? Yeah, okay, so it's, it's one of these two. Okay. Different brands. This is like Goodyear, like the yeah, tire. Yeah, tire. Yeah, tire rubber. It's, yeah. It's That's like Austin has, Austin has shoes like that. Yeah, and it has a little logo on the side, which, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really care. Oh, no? Is it is it really the logo? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's on there. It's NASCAR, bro. Yeah. And I honestly, 
Those are kind of cool, like air. I don't, I don't like the bubbles, though. And you don't like the bubbles, that's right. Well, then I guess it's Goodyear. Yeah. Um, I, I was liking these ones, but too big. Yeah, well, they're work shoes. You get, you, you get what you get. You get what you need. I know, the Sierra has, like, black Vans ones. Like, I would have got those if um, if they had them. Right. I can get, like, Crocs without the holes. Dude, slip-ons were the way I went. When I, when I, my last few years, I worked at the restaurant and uh, at Cox. I wore slip-ons. Really? Yep. Not Something Crocs, like but like slip-ons, like yeah. leather slip-ons, dress shoe slip-ons. I, all I wore were slip-ons. That's a good cushion to them. Yeah, man. If they're, your, if they're in your size, snag them. So here we go. Skechers, Goodyear. Love it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like an NASCAR. He's got like logos on the sides. <laughs> So tonight's uh, DoorDash sheen, $105 in just under four hours. Came out to $26.55. So all in all, solid night. I'll take it. I basically, like, like I said, I basically go until I have about 100 bucks or if it's really busy and I'm, I don't even have a chance to even like stop and look and see how much of my made. Like I did last weekend where I, last week I did like 100 and, I don't know, 25 or something in five hours. Um, so solid night solid night yeah so come back tomorrow and find out uh, more about bryce's first job and as always vlog on